Welcome in guys. As always, I am Pookie. I am your Platinum Paladin. We are continuing Legend of Dragoon. This time I think we might be going up over a volcano. So let's jump right in. Alright, here we go. I think this time is Volcano Valud, gang. Ah, yes it is. We parked right out front of it. Which is good. We're gonna wreck this place. I think. What's that? Is that an eruption of the volcano? No, it's not. It's the Firebird! That is Firebird. It's bad timing showing up now. We still have to deal with the dragon. Can we just let it go? It's up to him. He saw us. Run! <laughs> Dang, Firebird. Can we just let him go? You know, in the time it took us to stand there. <laughs> we just wanted to stand there and let him see us. It seems we lost him. Good. Let's move on. Here we go. All right. About to live that volcano life. Think. Spear. Oh, Spear Frost. That's an item. For some reason, I thought Levitz was about to get the hookup. Yeah, take that Frost Spear, Levitz. Alright, we got another ATAM over there. My little, little. Oh. What's up, fellas? Salamander. Whip smack. Whip smack. Ooh. Harpoon and eyes. There we go. We're already getting into a good groove. Yes. Uh. I mean, we're getting into a good groove. We're using the level one um, arts or additions, rather. No, I haven't been playing Legend of Gaia lately. You have been. Oh man. I did do a little bit of research. I mean, I have um, pulled the platinum on this already on PlayStation 5. Um, and honestly, you guys, this game is seriously one of the only JRPGs that does not require grinding. Like, you can grind in it, don't hear what I'm not saying, but it does not require it. Not even in the slightest. There we go, some more trash. Panic guard. Should probably put that on, huh? Avoids confusion, hmm, yeah. Why don't we put that on Rose? Cause she's, she has a Dragoon power that we haven't, I don't think we've used yet. Um, probably not. Cause I don't even think we've done any Dragoons yet. Speaking of the first transformation can be long, but all the other ones need to be short because I mean, the Dragoon transformations are cool. Oh, there's a man. A boy of sorts out there. What is he selling, maybe? Maybe he's a merchant. Okay, now... Oh, there's fish. That's right. We gotta, we gotta jump some fish. But yeah, that's that was just something really surprising to me. Is like, a lot of PS1 era JRPGs require the grind. Because you will just get stuck on bosses. This game, no. If if you've got the items and you're smart, you can win everything. Like, oh, yes. Now that doesn't mean that some fights aren't really hard. Like, there is a fight in uh, 
Switch. It would be, if you were playing on PS1, it would be Disc 2. Um, you gotta fight this chick, and it's three on one. You would think that you'd just be able to demolish her because it's three on one. Oh no, she packs such a punch. Dang, these fish, they just wanna go around. Maybe I should have Dark Guard, actually. It's probably a good idea. Whip smack. Ooh, I could probably do a little bit of extra garden for everybody, actually. But, but yeah, like, it's easy to find with, uh, with Legend of Lagaya, a little bit of offline grinding definitely helps. Um... Final, uh, Final Fantasy 7, not so much. Like, I can't think of an instance where you have to like really hardcore grind, unless you're, okay. I'm talking about the main story in these games, by the way. If you're going after the end game bosses, then guess what guys, you're probably gonna have to grind. Like, but like just main story stuff, there are, there are only a couple points I find grinding in Final Fantasy X. Um, and that's because you actually start to run out of spears um, early in the game. So it's worth kind of grinding there and kill a to get some spears back uh, so that you'll be able to level up. But uh, right at the end, or well, not at the end, but at the late stage for Final Fantasy X, when you're on Mount Gagazet, before uh, before Seymour fight three, grind, but not the experience way. Like I have found one of the easiest way to cheese an otherwise really tough fight is to go in there with all of Yuna's Aeons, like at overdrive. That way you can just Aeon, Overdrive, Aeon, Overdrive, and he will instantly banish them the moment that you uh, get the Overdrive off, but you can get the Overdrive off, so your one hit is a pack a punch of damage, like, and it's real nice, oh man, maybe we'll do a, a Final Fantasy X playthrough on the channel sometime, like, I do need to pull the platinum in 10-2, which I'm hoping to do this year, gang. But you never know. There's so many video games coming out. We, oh god, we've got Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters on the docket. Like, I really want to play those. Oh, guys. What? Is this feeling? It's calling me. Jenna, where are you going? Ooh, that was very RE1 delivered. There you go, guys. There's your cheese for the day. <laughs> you were being called by this? I don't know. But when I came here, I didn't hear the voice anymore. Is that alive? Looks like a stone statue. Don't go near it. I feel something's wrong. Listen to Shanna. This Virage is still alive. Virage? You don't know about it? Okay, I'll explain it to you. You know about the Dragon Campaign, right? The Wingleys were outnumbered, so they used this creature called the Virage as their trump card in the war. Just as humans used dragons, Wingleys used Virage. I thought the dragon campaign was over 11,000 years ago. How can this still be alive? I would say it's due to a hatred of humans or a vendetta against us dragoons. We gotta settle this. Or let's run. <laughs> there you go, Dart. Dart knows.
Alright. Alright, so we're gonna have one particularly fun thing to explain in this fight. Oh. Wow, that's an opener for ya. Um so in this fight, of course, he has multiple targets. Target one, you guys, if you've never played this game before, target one is the arm, okay? Even if you have played this game before, target one is the arm. The arm can kill you instantly. So you take the arm out of the game. Mm-hmm. There we go. And then I like to just tee off on that big old schnoz of his. Double slash. Uh oh. Now he's about to dart the dart. Oh. God, man, that move is rough. Whip smack. All right, though, if it gets too wild. Uh, we do have a Dragoon Spirit with Rose to try and heal us up a little. For now, we're just gonna ride. Whip smack. Double slash. Ugh, harpoon and eyes. There we go. We're already working him over pretty good. He's already in the red. He'll whip smack. Uh oh, the arm's back. Not good. Alright. You know the drizzle. Take that arm out. Double slash. Ooh. Okay, he just pimp slapped him. That's alright. And we just got a lot of turns in rapid succession, though. Oh, oh. maybe that's why. A little bit of debuffage. Oh, is Rose despirited right now? Because that means dragoons will not be a thing if she's down. All right, the arm's gone. Okay, never mind. We should probably, with everyone being debuffed, we should probably go for a heal now. Huh. Yeah. Dude, Rose is a beast. Like Okay. Hopefully this kills him. But funny thing about it is I've never actually done a uh, a Rose final party run. Maybe that'll be this time. Do we do we want to hang with Dart and Rose throughout the whole game? That'd be kind of wild. Not gonna lie. All right, be some learning experiences. That's for sure. Trouble is, up until I platinumed this on PS5, I had never done a party wide with Miru either. Like, just never did it. Oh, uh, was that it or no? Oh God, the arm's back. Oh, it's it. Boom. Boom. Dart might be stunned, but not for the final hit. He's not. That was actually a clean finish. Like I said, guys, Legend of Dragoon is about playing smart. Whoa. It's dangerous here. Let's go back. Ooh, echoes of the past. Come on, Shanna. Are you all right? See, this is testament to how beastly uh, Rose is, man. She just doesn't care. She has, she gives no Fs. Rose, run! She's like, ha, whatever. Whatever. Oh, that's funny. 
Edition for Dart. Maybe we should switch editions up. We've been non stop with our level ones. Like, need to get that together. Alright, let's take a look at our editions really quick. Oh, Libits, you're still scared. Okay, Dart can switch up now to the Volcano. Levitz is very close to switching up, and you just kind of started. So, Dart's gonna get a new move, yeah! Okay. Stop being scared, Levitz. You're a knight. Oh, now the fish doesn't want to jump at me? Come on, fish. Jump. I want to do some guarding. Oh, uh, he jumps right over my head. What a jip. What a jip. Freaking jip fish. Hey, is anybody there? <laughs> uh. dun, 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 dun. Did you hear something? Hey, help! Look, over there. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. They want us to think they are bears. Help me! My foot slipped and I fell! By the way, if you can get that movie quote, you're awesome. We got you. I do hunt a bear. Ooh, thanks! Really? I didn't think I would make it. It was really good. Yeah, thanks. I can't thank you enough. But please, at least take this. Oh, don't. We can't accept such an expensive item. Watch it be a healing potion. Yes, you have to. You folks saved my life. I'll feel bad if you folks don't take it. Take it. Once decided, it's hard to take it back. It's a man thing. <laughs> it's a man thing. Us bros be broing. Well, thank you. Ooh, sapphire pin. I'm Dabba's of Lohan. I was told I could find a burning gem around here, so I came. And look what happened to me. By the way, I'm an antique dealer. If you happen to be in Lohan, why don't you drop by? Later. He's funny. He's something. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. See, I wish I could just get into a random fight and do some guarding. Let me go try to get one of those fish again, guys. Because... Spoilers, we got another encounter coming, and I just want to fight some fish. Oh, now, now he jumps over there. What's over? Oh, over here is near the beginning. Wait, I could have went around that way? That's garbage. Hey, jump on me, fish. There we go. Nice. All right, here we go. Come on, fish. A miss. A miss on the fish. That's all right. Why do you beat me when I heal? Oh man, this this would probably be the only grinding I would see you do in this game. It's again, it's part of that playing smart element, go into a fight in full health kind of thing, or at least close to it. Like, so, I, I do this from time to time, is I'll go pick a random mob and just be like, leave one guy left, 
don't damage him or he'll start like throwing items. They get kind of powerful sometimes. But just leave him and then get as close to full health as possible and then kill him. Like, it works. Should probably have Rose finish him too so that she can build her, uh, her Dragoon. Her SP. Get ready for some Dragoon. Now, Levitz still has a ways to go. So does Dart. It's not killing time yet, Rose. She's Jones and look at her. She's like, bro, I will kill you, fish. Which is fair. But yeah, there are, uh, there are a lot of things chalking up here in 2023 that I want to play. I have still been devoting a ridiculous amount of time to Resident Evil 4 because that game is just it's insanely good I'm so happy that I was able to get my first run up on the channel my first experience ever it is such a cool game um but then like like I told you we've got I'm chipping away at Forspoken um as you see from the shirt I'm going to be starting Persona 5 this year. I've, I've finally, I put it off long enough. Like, it's it's such a good game from what I hear. It's like, all right, it's time to do this. Let's go. I've, I've heard it's a really, really long platinum, so I don't know if that one's going to make it on the channel because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, it's a little different from, like, if I'm playing Resident Evil where I'm confident that I'll figure it out. Like, I haven't played Persona 5, so I don't really know, like, the inner workings or anything like that yet, so maybe a revisit. We'll see if I'm crazy enough to platinum it twice, because um, they have Persona 4, or Persona 5, rather, and then they have Persona 5 Royal, which I've heard the Royal one is the one you kind of want to play if it's your first round with Persona. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can weigh in on the comments like if you've ever played Persona before. Should I start with 3 which just came out recently? Well, not recently. It came out a couple months ago. But um, should I do Persona 4 Golden or should I do Persona 5? Like, I've just heard nothing but good things about the series. Between, like, not not Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts withstanding, like, Persona I want to try, Star Ocean I want to complete till the end of time, I've never done that, like, there's a lot of JRPGs, not even counting the FF Pixel remasters that look at me every day with, like, hey, are you going to get us? Are you going to play? Like, ugh. Yes. Yes, I'm going to. Shanna, can we get to the exit? No, it's in flames! I guess we gotta fight. There we go. Alright, let's get this camera set the way I want it. Yes. Get that bird! Yes. Yeah, going back to the grinding conversation, I'm trying to think of like outside of guard battles What would be a good time to grind in Legend of Dragoon or what for? And it's probably Dragoon levels um, So my my first run of this getting the platinum for it on PS5 was very different from the experience that we are going to have and it's because I wasn't able to use Dragoon Spirits. So they, had, uh, they hadn't patched the game yet. And Dragoon Spirits would actually brick the game. Um, like, you could get away with a few moves here and there. But the majority of Legend of Dragoon's Dragoon mechanic would break the game if you used it. Um, which was wild to me at the time, of course. But, like, anyway, oh my god. I played this whole game, and I had to use the rewind feature a lot 
because you know there are bosses that have dragoons and you got to try to change hope that your mechanic changed their moves and they don't break the the game there's a battle a little bit later on um that doesn't even have a dragoon in it it's just three big bosses and it would break my game anytime one of the bosses would tell the other to go do something so i had to keep rewinding keep guarding keep using items just to just to stop him from doing that it was pretty crazy like okay he's in the yellow so here's what we'll do oh that was smart Oh, that was really smart, man. It had her guard and then he attacked her next. That was awesome. Ugh. Ah. Dude, she has taken like nothing for damage. That's fantastic. Rose out here just breaking the game. <laughs> Whip smack. Maybe I will. Maybe I will because moves like that show me that like rose has got a pretty high magic defense i think like i'm down oh. god i love being able to just switch into a dragoon and not have to worry about it like one so dart was one of the ones that you could use one move of his most of the time and it wouldn't break your game and it's his first magic move the flame shot I'm not gonna use it on the firebird for obvious reasons, but it was a uh... oh hello perfect Ugh. first dragoon transformation and a perfect attack take that home take it frame it clip it whatever you gotta do that's the good stuff right there gang anyway it was it was really hard to get through this game without being able to use dragoon spirits my final party ended up being dart albert and miru uh, of course we don't have two of those party mates yet but we will so oh, oh dart taking some damage from fire what's up with that dog oh see now we got some health getting low this comes here comes the playing smart mechanic you ready are you ready, gang? It's time to teach this bird a lesson. And heal up in the process. Like, that would probably be it though, is playing offline and doing the, uh, doing random fights so that you can build your Dragoon level. Because as you do additions, I'm sure you're noticing, like we get uh, spirit points for that so that we can transform into a Dragoon. This is all stuff that Rose taught us in the tutorial that I neglected to show you guys because I don't care about Rose's tutorial. Uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> all right. Um, but anyway, you get that SP and over time, as you accrue the SP, of course, your Dragoon level goes up, up to level five. And it's usually accompanied by, hey, here's some new, oh, harpooned your butt into oblivion. Nice. Um, it usually accompanies with like some good magic too. So like, take darts level three unlocks my favorite magic in this game. And that is the final burst. Fantastic move. Like, whew. It was a hot foot. Oh, hot wing. Oh, dude. Now I want hot wings. I can't have hot wings. I got things to do today. Like, but maybe, maybe soon, gang, we'll get our hot wings on. By the way, uh, I, while we're talking about it, might as well post in that chat. Where's your go-to wing place or your go-to wing flavor, regardless of place? There you go. Oh, brother, you folks are still here. My, my, folks, you look pretty tired. You want to buy something? I probably already told you, but I'm a trader. Yeah, we probably should buy something. Right. 
it's these that I'm considering buying. Oh, we gotta, so, and I know some people are gonna be like, but you love this in Resident Evil games. Inventory management in a JRPG kind of sucks. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. Oh man. All right. So we've got one, one, two, two. There. Okay. That should be fine. I'm gonna go back to Lohan soon. If you want to buy something, now's your chance. Well, I don't want it. All right, so we had her with the panic guard, but now when damaged by magic, MP is accumulated. Since she's kind of our healer by MP, I think that's probably a good idea is to have her outfitting. Ooh, oh, fine. Fine game, let's do battle. But as you guys know, when I'm not completely simping over Resident Evil, uh, I am so stemmed in JRPGs, it is ridiculous. Like, which, it's, dude, it's hard not to. Like, I'm, I've seen all this stuff, um, like with Final Final Fantasy and the evolution of like the going to a more active battle style. Like I personally think like Final Fantasy 16 looks cool. FF15 was a lot of fun. FF7 being active and even Crisis Core being a little more active. Like let's go because like Kingdom Hearts was a little more active as well. Like I I just don't get it. Like. And especially when we're talking about Final Fantasy, you guys. Final Fantasy is never the same. Like, the jumps Final Fantasy 1 had, or Final Fantasy 2 had from Final Fantasy 1 are insane. Like, they, like Final Fantasy 1 was very traditional, very Dragon Quest, like, all right, you just quest and you're leveling up, what ifs, right? And then you got a, a few jobs, a few jobs to juggle with. Final Fantasy 2 threw a lot of that rule book out and was like, bro, you level up on, on like weapon proficiency, which was so cool. And it was so different. Like FF3 kind of had the return to form, um, but it threw a ton of jobs at you. And then, okay, yeah, we can mop this guy. Um, yes. And then final, oh god, Final Fantasy 4. Dude, one of the all-time best Final Fantasy games. One of my favorite reasons to play a paladin. My boy Cecil in that game is so amazing. Oh, he is so awesome. Like, no joke. Uh, and then, uh, god, that was, I always felt like that was the one that started to really hit the story right and really focus on the narrative final fantasy 5 i want to say that's the one where it literally begins just going like pick your job here they all are pick your job like which is awesome and then six guys don't hurt me don't hurt me i haven't played final fantasy 6 i'm sorry whoa 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 coming off the screen now I haven't, okay? Guys, don't you feel something? This forest is contaminated by the dragon's poison. That Levitz's face is a mess. I mean, so is darts. Look at that thing. I see. That's why the Sandoras don't have a defense in this forest. A normal person cannot be exposed to this poison for a long time. It's a natural defense. Oh my! What's wrong? I felt a little bit dizzy, that's all. I guess it is hard for a woman. Oh, I am a woman too. You're special. 
<laughs> Special, huh? Fine. I don't capitalize on a woman's frailty anyway. Wow. Let Shanna's not capitalizing on it. Yeah, see, I don't mean to do oh, no. and she just drops. Like, Shanna's such a little sweetheart. I'm okay. See? Rose is fine too. But I I'm sorry, I need to go rest a little. Shanna? She's such a little sweetheart, though. Like. Meanwhile, Rose is just a, a mean ass. A mean ass. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh huh. Don't worry, I don't feel sick anymore. Besides, I think I got used to the air in this place. Then, can you go with us? Sure. <laughs> if I fall down here, there would be no meaning to me coming with you. Indeed, we can say the war is in our hands, because the Kaisers cannot make a move. Shanna, please don't leave us like that. We don't know what awaits us. Sorry. Yeah, you better be. I'm just kidding. Now let's move on. They are playing brother and sister. Yep, they're always like that. Playing brother and sister. Well, Shanna's not playing sister. Dart totally. Is. He's like, uh, you little kid. I've always taken care of you. I've never thought about being interested in you ever. Uh oh, wow. <gasps> wow! Wow! Oh my goodness! Good, you've come around. Yes, I think I'm fine. Where are we? In the nest of the dragon. Well, at least we don't need to look for Fairbrand anymore. What confidence you have. Is that because you're a dragoon? I guess. Guys, look at this. There's still pure water left in this forest. At least the entire forest is not spoiled. All right, let's go. If we defeat the monster, the forest will be saved. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, let's drink our purifying water. I'll do it again. Do it again just for added effect. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now we gotta. That's right, we gotta mess with those mushrooms. Go to press on the shrooms. Button. Okay, now, no more messing around. Let's wreck these guys. Mandrake or Mandragora. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta get our Hermione in here whenever we can, which isn't a lot. Like, that is a game as well that uh, is on the list. Noisy Face actually picked it up. It's the uh, the Hogwarts Legacy, and oh, I have played only a tiny bit. I got sorted into my house. I did get sorted into Gryffindor, which is kind of cool. I honest to God thought I was gonna get sorted into Ravenclaw. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, because a lot of the online tests and stuff usually point to me being Ravenclaw. I was pretty surprised I got put into Gryffindor. Um, like, the funny thing is, is I've, I've been seeing a lot of people... Uh, so, my friend who just started the game, she got... So, ooh, Death Dimension. 
she got sorted into um hufflepuff my dad who also has been playing the game got sorted into hufflepuff which is kind of funny like it's like dang hufflepuff is just carrying it man that uh that one's fielding everybody i've yet to meet a slytherin um just kind of a drag i'm hoping that somebody i know gets sorted into slytherin house I got it. When it's touched, it reacts with that. Sorry, guys. I get into, like, well, you guys have been here. You guys were, uh, like, checked out Chrono Cross and Resident Evil and stuff. When I start going, I get really just kind of focused on yammering, and sometimes I forget my commentary. <laughs> uh, oh. What are you? I don't think I've ever fought this thing before. Oh, a spit kiss, man eating. I don't know what that said. I pressed it too fast. Man eating bud. Uh, whip smack. We'll smack the bud off you, man eater. He's a man eater. Uh, yeah, man eat that. Volcano. Ba -da 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 -da. Nice, nice, nice. Into the ice power. All right, so we're gonna go down here, maybe, if the game will let us. There's one more mushroom we gotta hit. Mm, ooh, some treasure. Some more treasure I can't pick up. Yeah, you cannot carry anymore. Ugh. What is that? Is that Diablo or is that uh? Baldur's Gate. I think it's Diablo. I don't know. It's one of those. One of those video games. Oh. Okay. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Dart's just like, yep, I'm just going through all the tunnels, baby. There we go. The way is open. It was made by those who are not dead. All right, another chest I can't pick up or, ooh, bravery amulet now, come on. All right, let's take a look. Avoids, yeah, avoids fear. Should probably have that one. You should avoid confusion as well. Sweet. We are about set. Doing some accessory hunting, of course. Oh god, there are some items. I found this out playing the PS5 version. I did not know these items even existed. Like, or that you could reuse them for the record. Um, so, well, okay. One of the items I knew existed, but I didn't know you could reuse it. And it makes random encounters a breeze if you do. It's a it's a bomb you get in like in like chapter four in disc four. Like but it's ridiculous. And then there's some items a little later in the game too that you can get that boost your character's power for like multiple turns. Didn't know those existed. Yes. But now I do. Yes. Yes. Yeah, volcano, baby. And the funny thing is, is that stuff isn't like off the beaten path either. Like that stuff is right in your way. You can go get it. Ooh, harpoon. I think we can probably switch Levitz's move here soon. Like, I think he's done the sufficient amount of harpoonizes. <laughs> Volcano. There we go. All right, now. Let's take a look at the old addition trait and tra trait, which is like tree. Not armed addition. 
Yeah, he oh he just hit it. All right, so we're gonna try the spinning cane next. The cane of spinitude. Can you handle the spinning cane? All right, we'll make our way back down here. Let's get our colossal thirst on. Oh. I'm about like Frodo Baggins. I'm almost out of water, man. There'll be none left for the return journey. I don't think there's gonna be a return journey, Mr. Frodo. All right. We're gonna make a save state. Another cool perk from uh, playing the PS4 slash PS5 version. Who is this? Is that you, Lavitz? It's so ironic to find you venturing here. You are great. Do you know him? I will never forget him. He used to be the head of the second knighthood of Basil, Graham. The man who used to be my father's best man. Oh. This dude was at the wedding. Welcome, Levitz. You have become a knight fulfilling the wishes of your late father, Servi. Don't you ever mention my father's name. Are you still carrying that grudge after more than a dozen years for my betrayal of your father? That's not all. You betrayed King Albert. You betrayed every single person I know. Is that the wrath of a patriotic knight or a man full of vengeance? Both. Ha <laughs> ha, Graham? Now to avenge, and I now get to avenge my father, who trusted you and died in vain. Get revenge. <laughs> Try. See if you can truly best me in my newly obtained power. Emerge. The power of the dragon. Oh, not you, Tuz. You're not the power of the dragon. Or are you? You. You're a dragoon. It shouldn't be a surprise. Only the dragoons can manipulate dragons. Behind the dragon, there should be. Whoa. Dragoon. Or a dragon. Dragoon. Gin. This is the power I obtained. Obtaining that power is not an easy matter. You, where did you get the dragoon spirit? I'm amazed there's someone in Basil who knows about this. Fine, you too will know before you die. His Majesty Dole got all his power and intelligence from Emperor Diaz. Is this some kind of dream? Emperor Diaz died 11,000 years ago with the name of the Holy Imperial Gloriano. If this is a dream, how can you explain what you're about to see? Come, I give you a chance to avenge your father, if you have the courage to fight against the legendary Dragoon. Oh man, oh my goodness. My nose itches. Sorry, crew. My nose. Okay, can we pull this off now? We got two bosses, one of which is a flying guy. The other is a dragon. So, all right. Come here, flying guy. Ugh. Volcano. There we go. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't that bad. What a wimp. Ow, 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 ow. Is it gonna be as wimpy on dark? Well, not as wimpy, but that's okay. <laughs> Whip smack. Oh, wow. Okay, dragon. Uh, spinning cane. I forgot that I'd switched the edition for a minute. I was like, why is another square coming? <laughs> uh. 
volcano. You know what? I probably should just go go start wrecking him. Uh oh. This is going to affect us, I think. Ooh, wow, Dart taking 53, dog. Whoa. Come on now. Whip smack. Oh man. Well, actually, hold on. I did find this out too. Want to see something cool, guys? So we're gonna use a heal on Dart, right? Which is fine. And then you're gonna be like, "Are you crazy? He's still poisoned." Just wait. Just wait. This negates some of the requirement for body and mind purifiers, for that matter. It doesn't work if you're despirited, though, because you can't switch into a dragoon when you're despirited. At least I don't think you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Please consult the strategy guide. Don't listen to everything uh, I say. Hey. I'm learning this game the same as all of you guys. Same shot! Oh, yeah! Get rocked, child. And then Dart will come out of it and he won't be poisoned anymore. Which is pretty nice. It's it's a free uh, a free status ailment use. Isn't that neat? Which is good because this stupid dragon here loves to throw some buffs. Or some debuffs, rather. Yes, he loves to throw buffs at us. Dang, dude. Uh, I hate this. Okay, everyone's... I was gonna say Dart's probably in caution, though, huh? Like... Whip smack. whip smack! Gonna smack that whip! Gonna kick his face off! Volcano, baby! Ooh. Oh, I almost missed that last tap. I'm telling you, this little controller right here for PS4... So good, guys. <laughs> like, got a nice elevated D pad, good buttons and stuff. You really feel it when you get in. Oh, God, Dart's about to die. No, 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 no. Yeah, guys, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat even further. Further. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what they do now. Dart might still die. Oh, see, debuff. Debuff. So the move changed. Isn't that crazy? They still go two times in a row, but their moveset changes. Like, ah, oh God, that's still so crazy to me that that's a thing. All right. And then, yeah, that is only a thing real time if you're doing it on like PS4 and PS5. Because obviously, the old PS1, once you do something, your decision's locked in, baby. Like, I do love it. I was able to, to score a 4x3 monitor. I think I've already talked about this with you guys. I was able to score a 4x3. My sister's moved. Um,. And, uh, well, my sister moved, my sister and her kids, and, yeah, she had just this little 4x3 LCD laying around, I was like, eh, gonna take that, I'm gonna take that. Oh, did you get a deep gash? I thought you were so cool, thought you were the inventor of toaster strudel, like, that's what I thought. Not us. He's like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Spinning King. There we go. Now, if we want to get... Dude, she has a lot of magic, too. Is that a thing? Like, Rose just gets a lot of magic as well? God. I feel like I haven't... I, I think I'm going to deep dive with Rose this time and see just how bad... How tough is this game with Rose in the party? Because... I don't think it's gonna be that bad. She has the ability to heal. I 
I don't know what her end game attack powers look like. And we'll see. But yeah, I've never done it. Rose is one of the most popular characters as far as like the promo art. And I've never, uh, never hopped on the Rose bus for an entire playthrough. Like, for a long time, I, I wouldn't even think for myself, and I did, uh, Dart Albert Congol. Uh, hey. Ichi Mama! Dog life. Oh my god, 77. Not six, seven. Ooh, in game. There we go. Gotta have Dart do some garden. If he just keeps picking on him, Dart's going to die. Yeah, see, he's trying to pick on him too. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, if we know what he's gonna do, if all he's gonna do is pick on Dart, then these two can just chip away. Spinning, Spinning K. K. Oh man. He did more damage on Dart than the guard did. I just noticed that. Ugh. Whip smack. Uh huh. There we go. Volcano! Get this dragon. He's in the red, baby. Wham! Come on, Levitz. Finish him up, avenge yo daddy. Oh. He dropped a stunner on her. He dropped the stunner on her. Yes. Rose is stunned. Not good. Oh. Oh man, did he just kill her? Oh, dude. I'm half inclined to rewind, but nah, we, we already rewound a little bit. We'll back off. The the battle is still in our hands. There we go. And she won't be stunned anymore or poisoned. And she can just smack him. Whip smack. Oh, and she's the one who gets the kill. Redemption for my girl Rose. I, th I think I'm going to try it, you guys. I think I'm actually going to. I know we've talked about a few different ways we want to try to play this. But I've never had a Rose party. Like, I've never had just, like, Rose to the end. You're always stuck with Dart. But that would be cool. Oh, Dragon's Nest. Guys, we are rolling in trophies this episode. That's three, baby. You have survey strength. My efforts were to no avail. I even used betrayal to obtain this power. I still don't understand. Why did you betray my father? You were not like this. Nobody could be stronger than your father. That was the only thing I could never conquer. I had admiration for him as a mate, and as a friend. But time goes by and it turned into this feeling. This fear from realizing the limits of your ability. This fear that goes nowhere. Wow, okay. The only thing you can do is curse yourself for weakness. But you couldn't overcome your fear by defecting to Dole. You needed to overcome my father. There was an alternative. If only I could obtain a new power, I could be equal to or surpass him. That was the Dragoon Spirit I got from His Majesty Dole. Levitz, live strong. Now, I can go to be with Servi. If he'll accept you, man, stabbed him in the back? Out of jealousy, we've seen that before. We've seen it with the Moss Immune, actually, in uh, Chrono Cross. He's lucky to be dead now. Greed for power eventually conquers you. Unleashed power generates only sorrow. He should have known that. 
He was lucky to die now and avoid even more sorrow. Sorrow. Ugh. Oh. What is this? Inglevitz, your face is a mess. It's such a coincidence, it can't be. Where is this fate? Levitz, maybe you too are. Dart is right. The dragoon spirit of the Jade Dragon recognized you as the next master. I am a dragoon. I deserve to rule dragons. Not only do you deserve, but you have an obligation to accept your fate as a dragoon, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's what Graham left for me. I understand. I accept it. The fate of a dragoon. I will use this power for justice. Like Dart and Rose. Use for justice, huh? Alright, nice. Good for you, Levitz. Uh, Shanna. I can breathe. <laughs> Too much poison? <laughs> I almost said that in Shanna voice. We cannot make it over Valud carrying Shanna. And we have to go to Lohan. Lohan? That commercial town? Yes. That's it. I heard there's a great doctor there. Hurry. All right. Here we go. All right, let's. Uh, we got to go down here and heal, though. There was uh, some shenaniganery that went down. Ooh, here we go. Dude, Levitz is a dragoon now. That's so awesome. Oh, I love it. Gonna heal up. Uh huh. Uh huh. And we are going to do our save state because we just overcame. Guys, we just duked it out with a bunch of bosses. We beat three bosses here. We beat the Farage, we beat the Firebird, and, well, technically four. We beat Graham and Fairbrand. We just cleaned up, got a whole bunch of trophies to sync up, and that is what we want, baby, as we chip away at legend of dragoon we make our way toward that beautiful platinum city a lot of exits we could take but we're only gonna take the one that matters most guys so as always if you need to stay up to date with all things on my channel you guys know what to do like subscribe and tag that bell have a good one guys